four days of street protests in the Palestinian territories over Trump's announcement on Wednesday have largely died down, but his overturning of long-standing U.S. policy on Jerusalem drew more Arab warnings of potential damage to prospects for Middle East peace. Our hope is that everything is calming down and that we are returning to a path of normal life without riots and without violence, Israeli Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman said on Army Radio on Sunday. But in Jerusalem, a security guard was in critical condition after a 24-year-old Palestinian man from the occupied West Bank stabbed him after approaching a metal detector at an entrance to the city's central bus station, police said. The alleged assailant was taken into custody after a passerby tackled him. In Beirut, Lebanese security forces fired tear gas and water cannons at protesters, some of them waving Palestinian flags, near the U.S. Embassy. Demonstrators set fires in the street, torched U.S. and Israeli flags and threw projectiles towards security forces that had barricaded the main road to the complex. Arab foreign ministers who met in Cairo on Saturday urged the U.S. to abandon its decision on Jerusalem and said the move would spur violence throughout the region. Abu Dhabi Crown Prince Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Hayah said the U.S. move could throw a life boy to terrorists and armed groups, which have begun to lose ground in the Middle East. Along Israel's tense frontier with the Gaza Strip, the Israeli military on Sunday destroyed what it described as a significant cross-border attack tunnel dug by the enclave's dominant Islamist group, Hamas. Israeli airstrikes in the Gaza Strip on Saturday killed two Palestinian gunmen after militants fired rockets from the area into Israel on Friday. In the Indonesian capital Jakarta on Sunday, thousands protested outside the U.S. Embassy. Leaders in Indonesia have joined a global chorus of condemnation of Trump's announcement, including from Western allies. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reacted to critics in a statement before talks with French President Emmanuel Macron in Paris on Sunday. I hear, from Europe, voices of condemnation over President Trump's historic announcement, but I have not heard any condemnation for the rocket firing against Israel that has come, after the announcement, and the awful incitement against us, Netanyahu said.